Hey friends, Chris Crone here. Uh, today I wanna to shoot a little video for you and I wanna talk about how do you invest money in your 20s? I mean, hands down, it's the most important time. In fact, I think the only reason why I retired at the age of 26 was because of a very specific blueprint that I was given by my millionaire mentors. And uh, if you hang tight by the end of the video, I'm also gonna give that exact same download of that blueprint to you. All right, so here's the thing that I want you to understand. Creating wealth is actually really easy as long as you know the rules. And what I wanna to do today is actually break them down for you. You can use these rules if you're in your 30s or your 40s or your 50s, but the reality is retiring at the age of 26 happened because I had my hands on these rules at the age of 22. And it only took four and a half years before I made my first couple million dollars. I had a six figure residual income. And by the way, um, so this is my personal residence. I just got to pause and just say one of the most important parts of my home is Mr. Money Mailbox because reality is if you follow these rules, if you do it the right way, it comes in the mail, it comes direct deposited. Um, ironically, I actually ended up building this house at the time when I was actually quitting my job. So I've been living here now for over 10 years. It's kind of wild when I think about it. But uh, come on in and let me kind of break it all down for you and show you. I'm just gonna grab a little drink here. So, hey, how we doing? Hi. Awesome, we got our awesome cleaning ladies here making sure that uh, we keep our messes under control because we make a lot of messes. So, here's the first thing that you need to understand. There's no luck to this. Like, when I got started and I got these rules and I learned them from three millionaire mentors, what I wanna tell you is that the information and the training that I got from these individuals I was over $10,000 in debt. I wasn't making enough money to cover my bills. The most money that I had ever made in my life at that time was $18,000. So we're talking about living deeply, deeply, deeply below, you know, the poverty level and certainly what the average income is. We're just gonna kind of pivot and move this way, guys. Um, so I'm gonna take you into my office and break down some of these rules that you really need to understand about creating wealth. We'll shut out the vacuums. All right. Okay, so here's the deal. You're in your 20s and what is everyone your age doing? Before I give you this blueprint, you gotta understand that without this financial training, society's already given you a plan. Their blueprint is get good grades, go to college, work for somebody else for you know the next 30 or 40 years and you're gonna retire rich. But if you haven't figured out by now, or if you've taken time to interview people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, the reality is that plan's broken. It doesn't work. Even if you're a really amazing saver, right? Like a budgeter, you can't save enough money to get where you wanna go. Check it out, this is the prop. Okay, check it out. Average person in this country, $44,000 a year. If you've never made that amount of money, it sounds like a lot. I don't know how people, frankly, live off of less than tens of thousands of dollars a month. Like, I just, it boggles my mind. I mean, if you wanna take a couple of nice trips, you wanna live in a nice, yet average house. Talk about financial stress. So, I mean, this amount of money, $44,000, this might be kind of what the average wage is right now in, for the average job in this country. I'm just telling you, it, it's not a lot of money. It's not like you're gonna be living your dreams. The reality is, let's just say though that this is not a lot of money, but let's just say you were saving 10% of your money. So you were saving $4,400 a year. Now, first of all, if you put that in a savings account, you're not even earning 1%. And inflation is three to 4%. So this $4,400 is worth less every single year. You don't have a vehicle to, to get it to compound, but take $4,400 a year and times that by 10 years. What have you got? You've got $44,000, you're basically saving in a decade what you made in a year. Um, let's just say you get some raises with time. Let's just say you're lucky enough to have a couple hundred thousand dollars because nothing goes wrong, right, in this world. Cars don't break down and, 
and people don't have medical bills and people don't get you know health conditions and no one wants to take trips and travel and live and have fun. So $200,000, like what can you do at retirement with that? Well, 200 grand, if you're used to living off of 44, guess what? You can like live for six years and then you can plan your death day and die because you've run out of money and you're relying on the government and they're already running out of that money. I mean, all I'm really saying here is a society's plan it sucks. It's no good. It's no bueno. It's muerto, muerte, todes, not good -o. So the question is, what do you do? What, what is the information that I got? So my first mentor, John Sorensen, made tens of millions of dollars in real estate investing. Ben Beeson made millions of dollars in real estate. And Greg Gaetan, millions of dollars. These three men, none of them wrote books. They never put themselves in the public eye. These were just really quiet, neighbors that I found and I started following them around like crazy saying, guys, teach me how to create wealth. Like, how do I really do it? And what I want to do right now is I actually want to give you this entire blueprint of what I did that a lot led to financial freedom in 22, in, in four and a half years, starting from the age of 22. Man, that was 12 years ago that I retired. Like my life, my freedom, I mean, I, I live in a great house. I just got back from Thailand. I'm about to go to Amsterdam. I'm going to Cambodia. I got four amazing little kids. We travel all over the world. Like I can afford to do so many things that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. This plan, this plan sucks. You gotta get it on a different plan. I'm gonna give it all to you right now. Let's, uh, let's head over to my great room. I wanna put it up on the big whiteboard and uh, So here's the deal. I want to show you exactly how I did this. My first mentor sat down with me and said, Chris, here's what you need to do. You're young, you're poor, you're dumb, you don't got money. What you need to do is you need to get your hands on a house. Now, not just any house. You got to get a house that is loaded with equity. I was like, dude, what's equity? He says, buy a house. This was my first house. He said, buy a house, for example, that's worth 150,000. By the way, that's what my first house was worth. And I could actually owe or purchase that house for $110,000. When I actually bought this house with his help, I actually on paper was worth $40,000 more. Now remember, I made less than $20,000 that year. So $40,000 is like, wait a second here. Do you remember what I just showed you in my office? Remember how I showed you saving 10% for 10 years is like, then finally after a decade saving in enough money like you make in a year? This was me in, in just that moment that I signed on this house. I actually made double than what I did working 40, 50 hours a week for 52 weeks. It was crazy. But here's the crazy part. I bought a house. This one just, by the way, happened to have a basement apartment. And I have this family that lived down here. It's a new married couple. This married couple paid enough money to cover the mortgage. So by the way, my biggest expense, most people's house is their biggest expense. Guess what I was doing? I was living for what? I was living for free, but I have this $40,000. Now he said, that's the first part. You gotta, you gotta buy the largest commodity, the largest asset that the average person can. It's a big purchase. You buy it smart, you buy it right, you buy it with that equity. And then what I ended up doing 12 months later, so I went to the bank and I said, dude, bank, check it out. I got some equity in this property. I don't exactly still know what that means, but my mentor says that you can give me some money based on that. And you know what they did? They gave me a $20,000 line of credit tied to my house. It's called a home equity line of credit. And I used this money to put a down payment on another house. Remember, I'm living in this house for what? For free. This is really big, eliminate your biggest expenses. Once you eliminate your biggest expense, then you gotta eliminate your what? Your second biggest expense. At that time in my life, my second biggest expense was my credit cards, because I was in debt. This house, $600 a month residual income. Living for free, and guess what I did with these $600 a month? I got out of debt. I eliminated my credit card debt, and it took, a, it took just a small period of time before I was able to pay off that 10 grand and just wipe it out, because it snowballed, and it got bigger. Now you gotta understand something. This house increased my net worth by how much? 40K. This house increased my net worth by nearly $100,000 because of how I bought it. So my net worth is expanded. I'm living for free. I'm getting paid $600. I'm eliminating my credit card debt. Sorry, I think that's my... Oh, that's someone else's phone. Where did I go from here? Now I wanna ask you, if you did bought a house and you were living for free and then you transferred equity into another house, that had a lot of equity and was paying you 600 a month, what do you think you would do next with this equity and what would you do with this money? You would buy another house. Now, this one I moved in and all I needed, because I took the advice of my mentor, 
and he said, Chris, when you buy this house, because some of you are like, you're 22. How did you buy a house? I get that it has equity. How'd you do that? He said, all I needed to do was have $5,000 in the bank. Actually, all I needed for it was $3,500 because it is a roughly a 3% down payment. So I put 3% down, that $5,000, I had a little bit of work history, and I got the loan, I pulled it off. Now, if you can't, I'll show you in a special report how you can use someone else's money and even someone else's credit, because I, I could make a million dollars by snapping my fingers compared to what I know then. Now, I used the equity here, I bought this next house, and here's what ended up happening. I want to see if you can see the pattern here. House is buying house is buying house. At some point, and I'll share a secret in just a minute, but what I did is I got to 25 homes, and those homes were paying me a total of $12,000 a month. Guess what I did at the age of 26 with $12,000 a month? I woke up in this beautiful house. I asked my wife, I said, is today the day? She said, yeah. I got in my BMW convertible. I drove to work, sat down with my boss. I was really nervous. And I basically just said, I'm done. And when I drove home that day, it's like I came off of financial life support. It's like I was breathing for the first time, why? Because no one said I had to sit in my office. I didn't have to justify my hours. I didn't need to work nine to five. It wasn't, you need to be here and you need to meet this deadline. You need to do that project. You know what, I got my life back. I can do what I want, when I want, how I want because I had $12,000 of freedom income. Now, by the way, make a whole lot more money than that. That's what I thought financial freedom was. Now, that's a tiny small amount of money because you expand your horizons and you get smarter. Now, I've captured this entire blueprint step by step into a very special download that I'm gonna give you for free. And I even have an audio version of it that I'll also give you for free. But what I wanna do as a bonus today is I just wanna expand your mind with one more principle that can take this and tell you no matter how disadvantaged you feel, no matter how behind you are financially, this one principle is enough to change everything. Let's do it. Uh, they're gonna keep vacuuming. Follow me. more peace and quiet than the vacuum. All right, after I bought my third house, now this is kind of weird, when I was young, I got married really young. I was like, I was like 22, no, almost 23 when I got married. I was 23 when I got married, barely. And um, 22, oh, my wife would be here and slap me so hard right now. She knew that I was like struggling to figure it out. My father-in-law, he thought I was a total nincompoop when I bought my first house, cause he's like, dude, you're, you're so young. Why are you buying a house? And then I remember that when I bought my second house, he was fully confused. Like, dude, what do you need two houses for? When I bought my third house, he just, he, he's like, I don't get you. I don't understand. Cause he came from old school, get a degree, work for a company kind of thinking. But he was doing well in his career, and all of a sudden, it was weird. This crazy thing happened. It felt like it fell in my lap. I wanted to go do real estate faster. I was making money, I was sitting in college, and like, as a college kid, I was making quite a bit of money, and I was like, I wish I could go faster. And my father-in-law just happened to get home from a trip, an anniversary trip to the Bahamas, and you know what he did? He said, hey Chris, I had a weird dream that you and I were gonna go and do real estate together. Tell me about your, your homes. Tell me about your deals. He started looking at my ROI. Now, by the way, I want to ask you a question. If you put three, four, five thousand dollars into a home, and in the end, let's say it made you sixty-five thousand dollars as this home did, do you want to know what that ROI is? It's like a, it's too big to calculate. You need a calculator. And, and it's, a, it's just a really big number because I put in this amount of money and I got this amount of money out. Same thing on this house. I sold this house. I made well over $100,000 when I eventually sold that house. So I started showing my father-in-law my numbers. You know what he did? He's like, oh my gosh, this kid is, he's doing, he's outperforming my, my 401ks, my IRAs. I should do a deal with this kid. And so here's what he did. I, he's like, well, what's your next step? I said, well, I'm buying this house and I need like $20,000 and I can't get that money out of my other deal yet, so I guess I just can't do it. And he said, Chris, I'll make you a deal. What if we kind of got in business together 50-50? And you play the active role of doing all the work, you find the deal, you manage it, you sell it, you do all that, and what I'll do is I'll be passive, but I'll give you the money, I'll give you the credit, and I'll give you what you need, and we'll split everything 50-50. I did not have to think about that very long before I said yes. Okay, let's do it. We did this deal, it made such good money that guess what he did? 
We did it again. And we did it again, we did it again. We did it so many times. He's made a lot of money working with me and the cool thing today is it's taught me a new way of doing things. So I remember being a senior in college. I had about nine or 10 homes at the time. I wasn't quite retired and I thought, man, I got so lucky to have this father-in-law. I need more father-in-laws, light bulb. I had this idea, there are people like my father-in-law that have money, want to be passive, have credit. Dude, what if I brought them to the table, showed them my deals, what if they put up the money and we just did it? I unlocked this one principle and I started buying homes like crazy. Literally right now as we speak, I have someone else signing papers on three houses. I'm not putting up any money, I'm not putting up any credit. I just found the deals now through my team and guess what it means? It means that I'm done. Uh, I get 50-50 ownership. They think they're getting the best deal on the planet because I wanna bring it all down right now. I wanna finish this video and I wanna give you this download, but I wanna tell you this first. Right now, society is telling you that you've gotta find investments that make five to 10%, find investments that'll compound, tell you to do things like put your money in a 401k because there's this seductive match, put your money in an IRA, try to pay off your house. And I'm gonna tell you, I have interviewed 10,000 people that said, Chris, give me a plan. And, I, and this is their plan. And I wanna tell you something. For those of you that are watching this saying, I'm in my 20s, maybe I'm, a, I'm, maybe I'm 18 years old, I'm preparing to be in my 20s, and I'm telling you that if you follow this plan, you better plan to fail, because this isn't a plan. This is a failure plan, this is a broken plan, this is a guarantee not get where you wanna go. Don't take it from me. Don't take it from me that I said I've interviewed 10,000 people. Why don't you go talk to your parents? Why don't you go talk to some friends and family and neighbors and say, hey, so did you get a degree? Wow, what's your job? How's that working out for you? On the outside, they'll be like, oh yeah, it's going great. If you were gutsy enough to be like, level with me. I'm going to college and I'm trying to figure out like my career paths, how much money you make. Oh, I'm making 80,000, 40,000, 20,000, 100,000. And then do the math. If you can't save 50% of your income when you're making less than $100,000 a year, you will never get where you wanna be. Which means this stuff, no work. The this, this stuff that I'm talking about, I'm gonna tell you where you can get a download uh, of this information. Whether I ever hear from you again, this book has created millionaires. So I wanna give that to you. But I also wanna tell you that I have a team where I will work with you and my team we will train you on exactly how the system works. We'll actually give you the resources to get hands-on because when you're out there, you're gonna, have, you're gonna have questions. I even have a team that will give you the deals. And if you wanna learn about that, then go check out my website, link in the description below. And me and my team will actually do a little consultation and say, all right, level it with us. What's your age? Where are you at? What's going on? And if you say, literally, I got nothing going for me, but I watched this video and I want some help, my team has good news for you. They'll be able to show you a plan. The reason why that's important to me is because I come from nothing. Wonderful parents, wonderful childhood, but my parents, they fought about money. When I started out life, I just, I thought this was the plan and I had to get my hands on a different plan and you need to get your hands on a plan from people that have already been where you wanna be. So here's the deal. Check out the description in the link below and on it you'll see an opportunity where you can request to talk to my team. We'll give you your custom game plan and the second thing that you'll do when you go there is you'll see that you can download my book, The Straight Path to Wealth, and just put in your name and email. We'll give you the book. It'll give you the entire blueprint and then in addition to that, Every week I'll send you an email so that I can keep you up to date because I'm telling you, I'm only scratching the surface. I'm now into so many different types of investments with single family homes, commercial deals. I'm getting into crypto and blockchain currency and crushing it. And on most of my deals, I'm doing between 20% and 200%. And my friend, if you're in your 20s, I wanna tell you something. Those ROIs that you do over the next decade or two can completely change your stars. And now one final warning. If you actually share this video with people that are older or people that are on this path that are still committed to it, they're probably gonna tell you, dude, that guy's a total fraud, he's a phony, he's a fake. The reality is I have done hundreds of millions of dollars worth of real estate. I did retire at the age of 26. I've been able to live the most amazing lifestyle. Currently, my wife has a goal of visiting 100 countries. We visited 38 countries from around the world. And my kids can do dance and ballroom and they can do taekwondo and piano and all their different things and listen this video is not about being rich and having loads of money it is about living life to the fullest it is about the fact that you have potential i have potential and we're either seizing it or we're living beneath our privilege by taking advantage of someone else's opportunities that are not working so if you want to get the real scoop on how to do it right 
then get my book. I'm giving it for free as far as ebook and audio format. And good luck, I wish you the best. If you wanna reach out and talk to my team, it's all in the description below. We're gonna freaking knock it out of the park. Thank you so much for watching this video. That's how you invest your monies in the 20s. And first of all, do it all over again. That is exactly what I would do because it worked then, it's working today, and to some extent, I'm still doing it.